Alright, so Chico with the not dog talk. Uh, there's a lot of people out there bitching and complaining about how much money you have to make to live. I've been seeing you gotta make 90,000, over 100,000 just in order to pay the bills. Uh, that's not true. Now, you have to be willing to make sacrifices. You have to uh, live within your means. I have never made more than 40,000 bucks with the exception of when I was a uh, production supervisor for a uh, automotive pre, what do we call it? Pre-manufacturing plant um, or pre-production. Pre-production plant for auto, oh, here, let me pause it. So the key is you gotta, you gotta be cool with what you got. You gotta not be materialistic and want everything that comes out new. Oh my God, they got 75 inch TVs now? Let me get it because they're usually 5,000 bucks and they're only 3,000 bucks. No, you don't need that shit. Watch TV on your little 24 inch. Um, now, another part is luckily I found a place that's really, it was. It was cheap at the time, and he hasn't raised it hardly at all in 10 years. So it's very cheap now. So it was pretty cheap then, and it's very cheap now. But I lived within my means. The plan was to get out of there and get somewhere else. But that did not come to fruition. <laughs> uh, but it's because everybody's everybody is taught that you have to have the next thing, the next shiny thing. You always have to have something better. You just have to have what you got, man. Right? Um, I don't buy store brand crap. I mean, that's all I buy. All I buy is store brand stuff, except for my shoes. I got to have good shoes because I walk 10 to 12 hours a day. Cat food. Um, right? If, if I could afford better food, would I do it? No. But that's how you do it. You, you save pennies. There's, I've even saw, seen, uh, I've even seen, even saw, I've even seen like financial people, right? Uh, on TV saying, oh yeah, you know, going to Starbucks, Starbucks every day, that isn't gonna hurt your savings and blah, blah. What? You gotta be kidding me. Look, buy your own coffee, make your own coffee one day a week. Treat yourself to your crappy Starbucks. It's nasty crap anyways. Right? Um, but it's all your decisions and what you, how you choose to live that makes it harder. Yes, housing's outrageous, but you can make it. I live a pretty good life, right? I've got clothes, never laid on rent, never laid on bills. Um, Right, phone bill, phone bill, internet. Uh, I don't have cable and all that crap. For one, I don't watch it. For two, it's just a waste of money. There ain't nothing on there worth watching that you can't get on regular TVs. All those subscriptions you got, right? Think about that. So, in, in the way the financial guy talks about uh, uh, Starbucks not being a money drain is he's like it's only seven dollars so what's that 35 dollars a week what is that well that's a lot when you consider 52 weeks a year that's who knows that's that's maybe one month's rent right that you spent on starbucks come on boy she's waiting you ain't gotta pee no ways <laughs> these boys think they gotta pee on everything um, right, so it's all decisions. What, what do you spend your money on? Yeah. Then when, when something comes up, now we'd be pretty screwed if something happened we had to go to the hospital. I mean, that's kind of the same as everybody. But you can get away with, what do they say? As long as it's not more than 5,000 bucks, which I guess even just stepping foot in the hospital is 5,000 bucks nowadays. <laughs> 
But anyways, you don't have to make that much. You, have, you just have to be willing to make sacrifices when you have to. You get, you get back on your feet and then you can start spending the money when you're making more money, right? Um, what's the other thing? Oh, like when they say uh, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. People are taking this literally thinking you have to do everything all by yourself. No, you have to put the step forward, right? Having a hard time with there's food pantries. Community will help you. Right? There's food pantries usually, you know, if you got friends, friends will usually reach out to other friends. Hey man, this dude's trying to make some money, blah, blah, blah. Right? Or they know people that can get you a job. Now, of course, there are places where it's harder. But if you're not trying, you're not going to get it. And the problem with a lot of these people that are complaining about how much money you got to make is they're not trying. They're just out there bitching. And if you notice, none of them are giving any solutions. None of them are saying, look, man, it's hard and I can barely make it and I'm making this. But look, here's how I try to pinch some pennies. Right? None of these people that are complaining about stuff are giving you any kind of solutions, right? Like all the time, like yesterday, did I was walking down the alleyway, and there's this big old box of food, right? And uh, their freezer head broke, so there's a big old box of food. This kind of stuff just randomly happens to me, you know? And so I got some. I didn't take it all. Uh, I, I wanted to go back and get a little more, but... There are other people around me that probably need it more. Or if they don't, I don't know. A lot of these people probably make more money than me. Most of them don't speak any English. But they're doing, most of them are like construction and concrete guys. So they're making like 30 bucks an hour and working 50, 60 hours a week. So, well, they're probably not making that much. They're probably making about 20 something though. I would guess doing concrete nowadays. Back in my construction days, concrete guys were making 16, 17, so even with wages not going up hardly shit over the years, I mean, it's, yeah, all this stuff is happening. Wages aren't going up, but the price of everything is, it's understandable. I know, that is a bitch. But you can you find something, and back, back uh, when I was young, you used to try to work two jobs. Well, hell, I guess I got to go work at CC's Pizza, right? Part-time. Make a couple extra bucks. People ain't trying to do that nowadays. People are trying to not even work their 40-hour job. <laughs> and these are the ones that are complaining. They want to call in sick three days a week. Come in late. Right? Show up on time. I always showed up early, stayed late. Anytime there was extra hours, I always took them. And I've always moved up. And I'm sure a lot of it has to do with luck. Right? But a lot of it is what you put out, you get. Right? And, of course, there are going to be people that you put out just as much effort as I have. Right? And they're not going to make it. So sometimes it is just where things fall. But you definitely are not helping yourself if you're not trying to save money in any way you can, right? You know what you think? You think Honey Nut Cheerios are the only Cheerios you can eat, right? I'm not eating nothing else. You know what? For a couple months, eat a store brand and see if you think that again. It's all the same stuff, right? Because the store brand box of Cheerios is about a dollar less so all that stuff adds up buddy maybe one individual thing like maybe only going to Starbucks once a week instead of five or six times isn't really that much money but if you start thinking that way you're doing that with multiple things not just with Starbucks so you gotta work at saving money if you're having a hard time there are people that will help you but you gotta look for it it's not going to just come to you, right? And that's, that's, the, that's the idea of pull yourself up, is not actually doing it all by yourself. You have family, you have friends, 
there are people out there just in the community that will help people even if they don't know you. Happens all the time. You just got to put the put forth the effort. And that's what people don't want to do these days is put, come on, dude. Come on. That's a busy spot. And he annoys me when he gets right there. They ain't got to stop and, they ain't got to stop and smell all the time. Huh, chico boy. <laughs> you take a boys. Right? So, oh, and I got, let's see, two mouths and five dogs to feed. And I've never, have not ever had a problem. Um, I don't work hard enough trying to get more business, but I kind of can't because I spend so much time on potty walks because of where I live. If, if I had done better and made better choices in the past, I could be somewhere that would save me probably four to six hours of walking so I could actually work. But that's the decisions I made. So that's what I got to deal with. Come on, buddy. Anyways, out of here.